Ace money to name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks, as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a B&E with handicappers. So it's an SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. My first play, I'm going Gary Harris, over two and a half first quarter points. Plus, uh, it's even money, DraftKings. He's, uh, out of the last 11 home games, only three of them he has missed this. He's missed it a couple in the last couple games, but uh, those were away games. He's hit this 13 out of 20. Uh, they got two days rest. I feel like... Uh, is going to make it. I made money with him all year. Give him another shot. If uh, you don't feel comfortable playing it, don't play it. Like I said, first quarter you uh, first quarter plays half units. All right, play number two, Cavs game, Cavs magic, same game. We're going uh, Struess, rebounds and assists over eight and a half, minus 104, uh, FanDuel, they got a minus 108 draft king. He's gone over this eight out of ten games. When he's gone over it, he's gone way over it. Uh, he's exceeded eight and a half rebounds and assists in eight of nine games, averaging 13.1. So hopefully he keeps it up and uh, be some easy money. We got Max Struess over eight and a half rebounds and assists. Game. Go New York. Go New York. Go. Going with Brunson again. First quarter over one and a half rebounds. Cash this last week. Several times throughout the year. Got two last game. Three the game before. Um. You know he's a hustle guard. He, he's. He's not just uh, bring the ball up, and you know he's looking for the for the boards. He's looking. He's playing defense. Uh, Knicks are trying to win. They really they're a gritty team. They play every play, and uh, half unit. They had that at plus one seventy. They just dropped it down to plus one ten. I wasn't even gonna play it, but try to make make up for. Uh, the last couple days with some easy money so hopefully he hits it we got Brunson over one and a half rebounds first quarter the uh 76 is believe it or not 22nd and rebounds allowed rank 22nd that's bad that's like almost end of the pack so just an idea Going with JB again, this time over two and a half three pointers, plus one twenty four DraftKings. Uh, he has not hit this the last few games. Three games before that, he has. I played in them as well. I didn't play in the last three games. He uh, his shots are fun. He's had a rough two games. He's still scoring twenty something points, but. Real rough games. Um, he's got some rest. Last time they played was the 22nd. So they're playing the 25th. And uh, they're playing away. And his, he's going to have his legs back. And I could almost guarantee that he's going to hit these. Jalen Brunson over two and a half threes. Plus 124. DraftKings. Go New York. Go New York. Also known as Deuce. <clears throat> Going on over eight and a half points again. Plus 110 on FanDuel. Once again, line shot. They got him at minus 105 on DraftKings. You get a little extra. Scored nine, just went over it last game. The game before that, he scored 21. Uh, 
was going to take his threes. He got him over one and a half threes. But uh, you can do either or. He, he hits a lot of threes, shoots a lot of threes. Uh, just like I said with Brunson and every other Nick, they, they came on off rest, two days rest, got their legs back. I know Philly's going to come out. They're coming home and trying to win, but it's time for the Knicks to put, put our foot on their neck. Go, New York. Go, New York. Go, McBride, over eight and a half points. My next play, I'm going with Josh Hart, over 13 and a half points, minus 108, DraftKings. Uh, last game, he had 21. The game before that, 22. Uh, it's gone over this five out of the last six. Uh, doing really well, rebounding, assists. Uh, his assists went down. The rebounds are up, but they, they got his number pretty high. I feel very comfortable at this 13 and a half. Uh, Josh Hart, over 13 and a half points. Minus 108, DraftKings. Next play, going with Bogdanovich, over one and a half threes, minus 110 on DraftKings. He's gone over this last five games. Uh, shoots mostly threes. He'll drive and take a couple, a couple of layups and, and do that. But uh, the other day I, I took him for points and I was gonna take his threes. And for some reason I took the points and regretted it because he hit two threes. He went under his points, but over on the threes. Uh, head to head, he's eighty percent with this. Last five hundred percent. Uh, he comes off the bench. He he was a starter his whole life. He got traded to the Knicks at the trade deadline. He's coming off the bench. He's well adjusted to it now. He comes out. He plays hard. Plays good D. His his, uh, his teammates look out for him because he applies himself on the defense end and everything else. Plus, he's a good shooter. Many years he's a veteran. Got uh, Donovich over one and a half. Threes, minus 110, draft game. For my next play, I'm going back with Hartenstein. PRA, over 18 and a half points. Even money, draft kings. Um, it's gone over this 8 out of 10. You know, maybe I'm biased because I'm a Knicks fan, but these these players just hustle, man. They're not like these other teams that are playing. I mean, maybe like uh, the Nuggets and stuff. But other than that, like, I can't believe, like, these are professional NBA players and they're just doing nothing. Like, what did KD do the other day? He stood around. Shit just pisses me off. But the Knicks go for it. That's why you see a lot of plays. I always do well with the Knicks. But anyway, you can take his points if you want. They got it at seven and a half. Uh, he always rebounds a lot. Uh, he gets a few assists. He plays at that point and drop it off. Um, hustle plays, all that. Uh, Eighteen and a half is still too low. As long as he uh, don't get in foul trouble, he's going over it. Um, Isaiah Hartenstein over eighteen and a half. Points, rebounds, assists. All right, for my last play, going with the game winner, Dante DiVincenzo. Over 15 and a half points, plus 104 on uh, FanDuel. DraftKings, I got him a little lower, minus 108. Line shot, but uh, you could also get him uh, 14 and a half. Don't forget that you could also, you could always use alt lines. If you don't feel comfortable with a line, usually do use alt lines. I haven't used them in a while. I probably should go back to them. Alt line is where you can buy it down. Like say they got it at 15 and a half on the books. You can get it at 14 and a half minus 125. 13 and a half minus 175. 
Like if your if your unit size is decent, say you're betting a hundred dollars, you can you should play a minus one seventy five. My unit size is small, so if I'm playing one seventy five, I'm only winning five ten dollars. But uh, obviously, the lower the number, the higher the odds to hit. The lower the the higher the the odds, the bigger percentage it is for you to win. Uh, I put a post out there today with with odds in their equal in percentage. I'll add it in the link so you guys can see it. But uh, yeah, Dante DiVincenzo over 15 and a half points plus 104 DraftKings. <laughs>